You know, for such a big company, Meta are actually pretty bad at explaining anything to do with the Quest 2. Like, do you actually need one of the super expensive USB Type-C cables to run this thing? Like, what if your PC doesn't even have USB Type-C? Well, today we'll be seeing exactly what you can get away with on your Oculus Quest 2. Oh, sorry, sorry, I meant Meta Quest 2. Don't go after me, Mark. Now, to start off, seeing how even I don't have a USB Type-C port on my PC, I'm just going to use this high-speed USB Type-C to Type-A adapter with the official Oculus cable to go with it. Now, one very easy test you can do is go into the Oculus app and then go here, select your device, and then go USB test, and it's going to test the connection for you and tell you if you have enough bandwidth according to the Facebook specifications. But who cares about official specifications? Let's see how far we can push this. Okay, so we're loading into Half-Life Alex on literally the highest settings that we can set in our Oculus app. And as you can see, our USB Gen 3 connection is handling it really well. Literally the highest settings, 120 hertz, like I highly doubt it's playing at 120 FPS, but it is looking good. And as you can see, and as you can see, we have like no hiccups or anything. Just a great great playing experience and man does this game look good so now let's try something way slower now let's take a low speed usb type c cable and connect it straight up to a usb gen 2 port and see if it still works and this is interesting it is connecting but it is giving us an error saying that it is recommending a usb free connection again recommending but not requiring and, and here's the best part according to the usb test we are running a whopping 340 megabits per second. And, oh wow, okay. Can you see the difference here? If the menus themselves were like 240p, and I can't, whoa. This looks like garbage. Look out there in the distance. Can you see exactly how fuzzy everything is? The frame rate itself is actually, like, pretty good. Now, I don't know what kind of magic they're doing here, but they're clearly prioritizing a smooth FPS over the visual quality, seeing how, you know, constantly jumping FPS in VR are just a recipe to uh, throwing up. Even just look at my hands, you know, they're so close, but they're already, like, so blurry. And once you get past there, the cables just are awful. Everything is just awful. Apart from the frame rate, the frame rate is still fine. I mean, yeah, when you look like closer at objects or stuff, it's like fine or whatever. But then you like turn around and what you see is absolute garbage. That looks like it came from the original Oculus. So there, lesson learned. It is possible, but at a price. So as you can see, no, you actually don't need to have Meta's own expensive cable or even a USB Type-C port directly on your PC. All you need is just a cable that is fast enough, or of course you can use other tactics like say virtual desktop or Airlink, which I made videos about before, so they're going up in the iCards. And if you're in need of a good USB Type-C cable for your Quest 2, then our Amazon links to some are going to be down in the video description below and also up in the iCards. And if you found this video helpful, then hey, awesome! Why not support us by checking out our Patreon down in the video description below, because even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Ella Vroniak, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Hub. Thank you guys so so much support truly goes a long way. Down there you're also going to find our merch store, our discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway that's about it so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to subscribe, like whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.